Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech again and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can check the uh, battery status of your mouse connected to your iPad. If you're using the Magic Mouse from Apple or any other Bluetooth mouse with your iPad, you might be wondering how to keep an eye out on its battery. It's pretty simple and I'm gonna walk you through the steps to do it efficiently, so let's get started. So if you're using the Magic Mouse with your iPad or as I said any other Bluetooth mouse, you probably want to know the battery and the best way to monitor the status is using the widgets, the battery widget. This also applies to the Apple Watch, Pencil and even Magic Mouse. So here's how you can set it up. First go to any of your home screen pages, hold down on an empty space until the icon starts to shake. And then click the plus icon at the top to add new widgets to your home screen. Scroll through the available widgets and find the battery section. Tap on it to see the different widget sizes available and choose the size that best suits your needs. The larger widget can accommodate more devices, displaying them in a nice list with their respective battery percentage and visual representation, so that's useful. But if you prefer a smaller widget, it can still show up for four devices, providing an icon and the battery percentage for each, so pretty useful too. So once you've selected your widget size, tap on Add Widget to place it on your home screen. You can then drag it to your desired location, but remember, you don't have to keep it on your home screen if you don't want to. You can also place it in the Today view or the widget panel that appears when you swipe right on your first home screen. This way it won't clutter your home screen at all, but it is still accessible. Now, whenever you want to check the battery of your Magic Mouse, simply glance at the battery widget and it will show you the current battery level. It's gonna help you keep track and recharge them in a time. Of course, if you decide to stop using the mouse or any other device, you can always remove the widget and just get rid of this. It's pretty simple to do. And But that's everything what I want to show, show you in this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.